started. Okay, I think it's recording. Hi everyone, my name is Tess Lamping and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going over my trades on VBIV and LWAY and how I was on the right track with PEIX, uh, first green day breakout, um, I was going to hold it overnight but decided not to just because I wanted to study it a little bit more and it's so far up already that I'd rather stick to my bread and butter patterns. So first off, I'll go into why I was going to choose PEIX for a first green day um, overnight hold and why I didn't. Like I said, I didn't want to because it's up so high already and I did find somewhere that I think they had earnings news maybe, but uh, and they can run multiple days, but by recognizing this chart pattern of it doing nothing and then spiking like this, I didn't feel comfortable chasing even though it's picture perfect pretty much. Um, as you can see right here, it had its first green day uh, and then it, it followed by a few red days and then it spiked like crazy. If history says anything, which as the SEC um, history is not indicative of future returns or something like that, or the past isn't. So, whatever. It went down anyways, like the, th the three red days right here. It had a first green day with some volume. It had positive news, and it would have been a great hold <laughs> uh, overnight. Sorry for my kid's crazy hair. He just had ice cream. <laughs> okay. Anyways, when I go into a one-minute chart... It, oh, let's see, one day. <laughs> so, it's hard to tell right here, but yesterday uh, I, I really wanted to break out, but as I've been talking about forever, my kids awake during the day, so the afternoon plays aren't really suitable for my schedule as much as I miss them when he would take naps. So, <laughs> just adapting and realizing my schedule changes and so are the plays that I'm able to participate in. And so I missed the breakout here, which is fine. And then when I logged on for his afternoon nap into the or right after market close when I got the internet fix, um, it had a nice morning or not morning, a nice closed panic, but it's not a morning panic, so wasn't sure if it was going to uh, spike. Um, it did close very nicely, and I really was planning on buying around uh, 416, 417 area. But then my mom called, and so I'm trying to make sure he stays asleep. My mom's talking to me, and so I figured, well, it's not a morning panic, so... At least I watched it, but I was going to hold it overnight and thinking that it might spike into the morning, gap up, but um, I would have woken up pre-market and probably taken my profits in here, uh, especially if I would have got in on the dip. And it still went um, higher, closed, uh, semi off its highs from the looks of it. Uh, It'll, it could potentially go higher, but now I'm waiting for the morning panic just because that's my bread and butter pattern. Um, like I said, I'd have to go through all the stuff to see what the news was. I could have sworn it said earnings, but given the chart pattern, whether it's earnings or not, um, this setup says that it's going to panic eventually to one of the, near one of the supports, and that's what I'm going to dip by if it happens. But I've been saying this for quite a while. <laughs> uh, so the trades I did take today, uh, VBIV, that wasn't, well, it it's one of these chart patterns. It's a very recent runner. It's been spiking. And so, um, 
it, it, it had news on phase two um, of the FDA approval or something like that. Um, I don't quite remember, but it was something along those lines. And it was spiking like crazy pre-market. So I'll go into the one day chart. Um, so yeah, it went way up here. So my thought was, well, maybe morning um, market open that it might panic down, so dip and then rip higher. But apparently, it might have been, but it wasn't the best setup for that. And so I had a loss. I bought in at let's see here, uh, four twenty nine five. And then I sold at 4.18.5. I tried getting out at uh, 4.20, but it didn't get executed, so I dropped it down a little bit further. It bounced a little bit back to the 4.20s area, but I didn't care, because then I saw down here, LWAY had a nice morning panic, which leads me to this one. Oh, and not to mention on VBIV, it went all the way down to the forest area, so that's why you cut losses quickly. Um, anyways, LWAY had this beautiful textbook, perfect morning panic. I'll show you the daily chart. See, it's been uptrending. It had a nice first red day. I think it will possibly have another red day. I'll be looking for it to go down to like the 350-ish area. It's not guaranteed, that's for sure. Um, but the bigger the panic, the better the potential bounces. And so my goal um, on my watch list, if you uh, follow me on Twitter at Tess Lamping, you can see my watch list. I post them at night after my kids asleep. And my goal was, I believe, to make 20, 30 cents on this uh, bounce. I made, what, 14? Oh, I bought in at 401, sold at 14.05. So I made 13 cents. But that made up for my entire loss, loss on VBIV and a small profit. As you can see, um, the bigger the share size, the bigger the profit, the bigger the loss, etc. But yeah, as Tim was saying that uh, the stocks have been bouncing later, I knew I should have had more patience. I thought about it. I held a little bit longer, but I still sold pretty early because it bounced up to the 420s, went back down right here. And then after I sold, it went to about 429, 430s. And I just wanted to hold it to the 420s, uh, but I sold at 414, which was close enough. And still a profit in a single. So I locked it in. That were, Those were my trades today. I am still green on the month. Uh, my first week is actually more profitable than my entire last month. So all I can do is keep trading the patterns, even though the markets are slowing down a lot. It seems like I do the best on morning panic dip buys. So that's what I'm going to stick to. If you like my videos, make sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter yeah. at Tessa Lamping, but be very cautious on Twitter because I now have several imposters, so make sure you're following me and not the fake accounts or imposter accounts. So, alright, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I make more videos. Have a great day.